Well, hello Sagittarius, what's up? Welcome back. Let's see what's coming in for you the next 30 days. Meditation, finally some peace of mind. I like that. We've got fertility. We've got angel of clearing. Clearing up your mind, look at that. We've got the emperor coming through. Spiritual and material changes, that's six of pentacles. We've got focus, be bold and make the first move. We've got peace, a peace offer. Okay. Spirituality, fertility again. Some of you may get pregnant, be mindful. <laughs> Some of you may want to get pregnant. That's your focus or you, that's what you want. And you might be telling that to your partner. Others of you, it's going to be different. We've got a big no. Okay. Where is that? What is that about? We've got the masculine coming through. We've got a soulmate. We've got the ring. We've got Leo, the lover. We've got the initiation. And then with the tarot, we've got the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Artist, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Magician. I feel a lot of resistance, uh, perhaps maybe coming from this masculine energy. Uh, I feel like this person has been resisting starting a new chapter with you. Perhaps um, this is someone that that could be standing. I don't know how to say it, like but they're standing on their. What do you want to say? They're standing their ground on a situation, okay? And it, it might be revolving like getting into a happy relationship with you or following their feelings and emotions towards you because I feel like there is a lot of joy here. There's a lot of happiness here. I feel like this, this has been a very fulfilling relationship for you. And for some crazy reason, there was something that disturbed this peace, okay? That brought you a lot of stress, that brought a lot of like you know, overthinking things and you're trying to figure out what went wrong coming from the Ten of Cups to the Nine of Swords is like, what just happened, right? You're trying to seek for some type of solution. You're trying to understand things from a higher perspective, right? But I feel like you're, you're coping with a lot of blurry energies, right? Like you're, you're going through a phase of confusion when it comes to this particular masculine energy because they're definitely very strong here in in the present here and i feel like you're starting to see that maybe this person has like other beliefs than you or they have like a different you know agenda maybe they have like a hidden agenda or they have different options and choices in their life and for some reason, I feel like this is pertaining to that angel of space clearing because maybe it is time for you to begin with to clear up your mind, to clear up your space in your surrounding and to um, clear any type of old negative feelings and feelings of being in an illusion and make sure that your mind is really focused on what you want to achieve within this uh, relationship and not allow their confusion to, um, to kind of like bother you in a sense. All right. Cause I feel like maybe this is this masculine energy that is highly confused of which direction to go, which obviously is going to affect you as well as in like, well, if they're confused about me and what they want in their life, then, Obviously, you're going to be asking yourself a lot of questions as well. So I feel like spirit is really saying like focus on your own achievements, focus on what you can overcome or the successes that is coming towards you. Uh, there might be some type of move that you're about to make or something that is going to bring in you a lot of victory and success and stop worrying too much about how this person is confusing you or how confused they are. Focus more on um, on yourself with this magician all right because I do feel like this person is going to come forward to bring you the peace or the peace offer even though they have been resisting you so maybe that you've sent a message 
to bring peace, but they said no to it. There is some type of uh, answer that's coming from this masculine saying no. And I mean, we also have like the emperor here. So you really are dealing with someone that really needs to exert their power or show you that they are not submissive and that they are very strong and capable of saying no you know having tough boundaries like they almost feel good being able to say no to Sagittarius and like no Sagittarius is not gonna happen so they have this powerful masculine almost like a wanting to come off like a daddy type of energy of wanting to say no to you just to prove you some type of lesson or to prove you some type of to prove you something I, I i'm seriously getting that vibe so that's why spirit is like you know leave them a little bit on the back burner this person is most definitely a soulmate of yours and they're definitely going through a lot of lessons right now and eventually this person is it's, it, look, it looks like they, they're going to offer you the commitment, though, with the ring. Maybe they are just resisting offering you the full shebang, right? Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Maybe this, this relationship or you as a Sagittarius in general, you may be too spiritual for them. All right. There might be a spiritual imbalance here as well. And they are more about like, you know, the common sense they're more about the logic they're more about that masculine energy like what they can control in their environment their work their safety their you know being the provider and the protector and you are so spiritual enlightened that they 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 feel like there is a mismatch here or you may feel that way all right but i do feel like if you would just focus and so funny because this focus card is you know directing at that angel of space clearing if you would really focus on clearing your space clearing your mind meditate a lot doing some reiki use your crystals do whatever you can like sage your house sage your environment to get rid of any type of negative energies or negative emotions uh, within yourself i feel like this person is about to make some type of shift here okay just Six of Pentacles, you, you are going to be receiving something from this individual that's going to give you that peace as well, right? Like um, a loving gesture is going to come your way. This person is definitely a very strong lover, okay? You got the Leo card coming through, so that could be very specific for you. But it could also be that within the month of August or Leo season, things are definitely going to be speeding up between the both of you and this person is not going to resist you that much, okay? Because I do feel like you're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of exciting energies. Um, juicy, juicy romance is what I'm seeing here coming through for you. But also with the Leo card, there is a lot of proud, pride and ego that is involved. So um, that's something that they may need to break through okay like releasing their ego and pride and just go with the fun be playful uh, maybe you've been not in that mood either and spirit is really urging you to be a little bit more playful and flirtatious and you know in a loving energy and if you feel like you need to make that first move to show this person that you're in a playful energy and that you're ready to flirt be bold and just make the first move that could be something that this masculine also needs because maybe you've rejected them or you said no so now they're being very rigid uh, whatever it is just focus on that if you do want to you know get excited and have like a playful and loving um, summer then maybe needing to be a little bit more open and playful rather than trying to stick your guns to you know this is what it is and um, not giving up or and not, not, that's not what I want to say but more like you know trying to protect your boundaries too much and that could also spoil you it spoiled the, the energy in a sense right like you need to prove yourself you need to prove that they can mess around or you need to prove that you're serious like don't you don't have to do that like just be yourself all right and if your inner self is 
wanting to have that new beginning or you want to, um, you know, you see the potential of growth, then follow that potential of growth. All right. Commit yourself to happiness. Commit yourself to that playful energy as well, because that's what you are. Sadly, we are a very playful, flirtatious type of energy. We like the excitement. We like to have fun and, you know, bring out the inner child. So if you have felt like this person is kind of like stressing you about it, then, you know, overcome that and be like, you know what? I'm not going to be bothered by it. Six of Wands is kind of like, you know, getting on your high horse and um, moving forward with pride and, you know, being like, this is who I am. And I'm getting a lot of attention from being who I am and the way that I am. My God, I'm hearing Eminem. This is the way I am. If you're not, na, 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 it's just the way I am. Okay, that's the song, baby. All right, so you're just the way that you are, Saj, and don't don't get too much bothered. All right, this is a soulmate connection, and they're they're starting to open up their third eye, uh, starting to see things for what it is. So allow them on their own space, and if they want to say no. I'm hearing Destiny's Child, no, 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 when it's really, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, why did that come up? Anyway, that's what I have for you. Uh, we'll see in the extended how, uh, how this no is actually more playing out because I think it's very important to see. But the rest of the cards are actually very positive, so we're just going to go with, with our intuition here. So that's what I have for you and I catch you in the next one. Ciao, Sagittarius.